So, how were your first classes of the week? I imagine you must be feeling a bit overwhelmed. What with having to memorize lines and practice songs for the upcoming production of Phantom, having the lead role at all, <laughs> and a new boyfriend on top of all of it. Is that right? Your co-star in the role of Raoul has been helping you to study in between practices. How nice of him. Tell me something. Are you ever alone with this man? How many classes with him exactly do you have? Forgive me. I am simply curious how he is well versed in my girlfriend's study requirements. I wouldn't want you to get bad grades on account of a bad tutor. Jealous? I am merely aware of the many ways of my gender and how we operate around lovely individuals like yourself. You, I trust. Other men, not so much. Trust me, my darling. The softness of the woman's flesh, the sweetness of her lips, it occupies our minds far more often than most would care to admit. His girlfriend is playing the role of Meg, you say? Hmm. Curious. All right, then. So long as he remains faithful to his own lover and keeps his paws off mine, then we shall have no quarrel. However, be warned, if he tries anything, and I find out, my love, I will destroy him. I will ruin him at this school forever. Do not think I can't. I absolutely can. And it won't lose me a wink of sleep to do it. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. I apologize for frightening you, my love. You, you've done nothing wrong. I'm not upset at you in any way. I just feel protective over you. That's all. I do not want men with less honorable intentions trying anything with you. Are my intentions truly honorable? Well, yes, naturally. I intend to be your one and your only man. How can I know we'll last that long? Do you not have confidence in us, darling? I will not easily surrender this thing we have without a good fight, no matter the obstacles. Even if it only has been a week thus far, I do hope that you are the same. You are, aren't you, darling?
Of course I believe you, darling. Naturally you would be of the same mind as I in this matter. But to adjust our topic of conversation to something lighter and far more pleasant. I have acquired tickets to a performance of a popular French ballet called Giselle. May I request the honor of your company this weekend to attend the performance? I can promise you the most enchanting evening. The school? Oh, you don't need to worry about them. I have them very well handled. We'll be just fine for a day away from the school grounds. <laughs> Dating the student body president has some pretty nice perks. Yes. That and add on the fact that my father donates. Such a large amount of money to the school every single year. <laughs> they practically eat out of my hand. Yes, I suppose with that being the case, I wouldn't have to work as hard as I do academically. But that is a matter of pride. I strive for the excellence I know I am worthy of. I must be at the top. And that is not achieved by idle hands and idle minds. I got myself the position of student body president on my own hard work. I forbade my father from interfering in that particular area. I wanted to have it because it was rightfully mine. Because I worked hard to earn it. I wanted to make sure everyone knew that I was in that position because I was worthy. When they look at me, I wanted them to see a paragon, not a false idol. You've noticed for yourself my dedication to the duties of my position. Good. That makes me glad to know that. Anyway, before I forget, is Charlotte Deckard leaving you alone? You must tell me if she resumes harassing you. I will deal with her immediately and harshly. I know you can take care of yourself and you'd prefer people not look at you as the type to go running for your boyfriend at the first sign of trouble. But, darling, filth like Charlotte. They must be taught their place. They must be brought back down to earth before they try elevating themselves far higher than they deserve. For example, before I thwarted Charlotte, she was attempting to have her daddy pay the theater professor to hand her the role of Christine. She had no intentions of trying to earn jack shit based on her own hard work and talent. People like her turn my stomach and fill my eyes with the red of rage. Yes, I am very serious about deserving what you are given. 
It's sickening to watch people be handed things they never earned. Things that should go to others that worked doubly as hard and applied three times the dedication. I watched that happen so often when I first got here. But I quickly put an end to it wherever I could. I still do. Charlotte Deckard was a fool to think she could get her scheme past me without detection. <laughs> she really should have known better. The twit follows me around enough. She ought to know that I am far sharper than that. Hmm, yes. The whole thing really does annoy me. I'm quite fond of the arts. And divas like Charlotte. They are the bottom feeders of the arts world. Unworthy. Incapable of rising by their own talent alone. Always wanting a shortcut. They do not deserve the spotlight. Not like you do, my darling. You think I elevate you too high? <laughs> Hardly, my dear. I see how hard you work, how much passion you put into every note you sing. The beauty of your voice, the way you pour your whole self in your performance. It is tangible, my darling. You feel it in the air, tingling across your skin in the most exquisite way, fluttering your heart and inspiring the soul. You are worthy. You are everything that Charlotte Deckard could never hope to achieve. Look at that beautiful blush. <sighs> oh, how you make me want you. Come here. No, no. Don't try to pull away. There's no one out this far in the grounds to bother us. They know this is my place to relax. Now come here, into my arms. I want to kiss you. Mm. Mm. Bloody hell. What does that wretched Harvey want? She should know. Most of all, that uninvited guests are not welcomed here. Least of all when I'm here. What in the hell could that horrible girl think she's doing? 
Hayden. Oh, Hayden. I thought I'd find you out here. Um. You're here too. She is my girlfriend, Miss Deckard. She has every right to be here with me. Unlike you. What the devil do you want? You best speak quickly. I'm already quite perturbed that you are knowing very well this is my private space still have the audacity to disturb me here while I'm trying to be alone with my lady love at that. Well? Out with it. Say what you wanted to say or get lost, Miss Deckard. I am losing my patience very quickly. You know what my time alone means to me. <laughs> I don't know what she wanted, and I quite honestly do not care. I will have her dealt with later, though. That insolent little wench knows very well never to come here. She was likely trying to hope to attempt catching me alone to try and seduce me away from you. <laughs> As if she actually could. I wouldn't touch that obnoxious harpy if she was the last female on this earth and the fate of the human race depended on our procreation. Oh, nothing would be worth the headaches to follow. No, we're not going back to the academy just yet. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, perfect. Come on, we're going to get my car in from the garage, and I am taking you out to dinner. Oh, but first, here, I have a handkerchief you can use to clean up. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I have hundreds more just like it. We'll toss it out when we get to the garage. So, what are you feeling? I know this great, authentic Mexican restaurant, if that sounds good. Their food is so delicious. I also know this real nice French place. Though we'd have to uh, pop back to the dorms and change first. It's a fairly upscale atmosphere. What do you think, darling? 